Let's get started working with Git in our local repository. To start off, we're inside the Git repository we have previously initiated with our readme file. One critical thing to understand about Git is that there are different areas that your file changes can be made in. And we'll be representing that with the image on the right. Now this isn't designed to be technically accurate, but it will help us understand. The three areas are your working directory, and this will be where the files that you're making active changes to are. Then there's a staging area. This is where you'll move files and get them ready to commit them all as a group. And finally, there's your repository section where you'll commit your files to. And right now, we have a readme file that's been committed, and that's represented in our drawing. So the first command we'll look at here is git log. Git log shows us information about all the commits that have been made. In this example, we have one commit, and that was our first commit when we created our repository. The next commonly used command to find out information about the status of your git repository is git status. This shows us what branch we're on, and we'll get into that a little more later, but we're in the master branch and that we have nothing to commit and we're on a clean working tree. That means that we don't have anything in our working directory section and we don't have anything in our staging area. So let's create a new file called index.html. Now just because we create a file in a directory that happens to be a git directory, it doesn't add it to our git repository. We can add the file by using the git add command. This tells git to keep track of the index file and it automatically moves it to the staging area so it's ready to be committed. Now when we run git status, we see that we have a new file. And notice that it's in the changes to be committed section. That's our staging area. So now we have one file in our staging area and one file in our head repository section. So let's go ahead and modify both those files. So after we've modified those files and run git status, we can see that we have one new file that's ready to be committed. That's our index file that's in the staging area. And then we also have another version of the index in our working directory and a readme file also in our, read, in our working directory. If we decided that we didn't like the changes that we made in our working directory, we can revert back to the previous versions by using git checkout. This changes the readme and the index files in our working directory back to the way that they were. Okay, so let's go through the process of getting a change into our repository section. So we'll modify the two files again. And now we have a modified version of the readme and index back in our working directories. So let's go ahead and move these files to the staging area with our git add command. Now before we've done git add, with the name of the file we want to add, but you can also use git add period to add everything in your working directory. So now we can see that our readme and our index have been moved to the staging area and they're ready to commit. So let's go ahead and do that with the git commit command. When running git commit, we have to provide a message and we do that by doing dash m followed by the message in quotes. Great, now our changes have been added to the repository. We can run git log again and see both commits. And now we see our first and second commits. So next we're going to demonstrate branching. And we'll go ahead and create a new branch named dev and switch to it. We'll use the git checkout command for this. So by using git checkout with the b switch, we've created a branch and switched to it. Our head pointer is now pointing to it. So let's go ahead and make some changes and then commit them to the dev branch. And now again, we have an updated version of the readme and index files in our working directory. So let's go ahead and move them to the staging. And now that they're in staging, we're ready to go ahead and commit again. Great, so now we have a separate set of changes that have been pushed to our dev branch. 
But if we're working on these changes and we want to switch back to our master branch at any time, we can do that with the git checkout command. And this brings us back to our master branch where we can work on things here. So hopefully you can see the flexibility of having these different areas and different branches. Thanks for watching.